With five more waves to come before the end of next year, we have to be getting Wave 2 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass sometime soon. If you ask me, I think an announcement is imminent. And based on what we got for Wave 1, I have some theories of what courses in particular we might see next. Today, I want to share my predictions for some Wave 2 tracks that might be added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now first things first, I quickly want to look at what courses Wave 1 brought. At first glance, what immediately springs to my mind is the fact that there were three Mario Kart Tour tracks included in Wave 1. I do think there's a slant toward Tour courses in this DLC. This may be because they're less intensive to bring over to Switch due to the Tour assets already looking pretty modern. And this doesn't stop with just the Tour original courses like Tokyo Blur and Paris Promenade. Wave 1 also let us know that this DLC is going to be heavily favoring classic courses that have already been remade in some way, especially if they were remade for Mario Kart Tour. The entire Golden Dash Cup from Wave 1 is made up of tracks already in Tour, and three of the four of the Lucky Cat Cup are already in Tour as well, with the outlier there being DS Shroom Ridge. It's for this reason why I think the classic courses remade for Tour give us a great idea about what to expect in Wave 2. I think all six waves will be heavily influenced by what we already have in Tour, and you'll see this trend in my predictions as well. First off, I think the remainder of the waves will each feature two original Tour tracks, one for each cup. This is one less than the three we got with Wave 1, but let's do the math here. If we save two slots for Tour original tracks in each of the remaining five waves, that means there will be 10 more Tour tracks added, which lines up perfectly since there are only 10 remaining new Tour tracks currently released. And one final thing before we start. I know this probably has nothing to do with course selection in reality, but it might. I think there's a really good chance of Wave 2 releasing this summer, in other words, within the next two months or so. This would make the next wave the first summer wave. So, from a seasonal standpoint, I think adding a lot of tropical or beach themed courses makes sense here. And minor detail, but look at the cup icons. The next two will be Turnip and Propeller Mushroom Cup. Turnips are a vegetable that requires sunlight to grow, and the Propeller Mushroom resembles a fan, an essential item for the summertime. Okay, this might be a little bit of a stretch, but out of all the cup icons here, if some were to have a summer theme, these would probably be the ones. So with all that out of the way, let's start picking some courses, shall we? Just like Wave 1, I see each cup in Wave 2 starting with a Mario Kart Tour original real world city based course. And what better to fit my summertime angle than sunny Australia, and the first course I'm picking for the Turnip Cup, Sydney Sprint. With bright blue skies and sailboats in the water, the warm weather vibes are impeccable in Sydney Sprint. Plus, we get to ride through the Sydney Opera House, which I think is really cool. It's an action-packed, eye-catching course that I think is a perfect choice to kick off Wave 2 with a bang. Next, I'm choosing a 3DS track, but one that was also remade in Mario Kart Tour. We've yet to see an underwater course in the Booster Course Pass, and I think 3DS Cheap Cheap Lagoon is a great choice here. It fits with the cup theme being an aquatic track, and the submerged elements add some nice course variety to the wave. Plus the kicker, it was already remade for Tour, making it a really easy transplant into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is a relatively simple but fun track, with a lot of trick opportunities. I do think we'll see it somewhere in the past, and for me, Wave 2 makes a lot of sense for it. And remember, summer sunshine isn't just reserved for the beach. We can't forget about the one place that's arguably hotter, the desert. That's why my course number 3 for Turnip Cup is going to be Calamari Desert from Mario Kart 64. With this being a desert themed course, it again adds some nice variety alongside the two seaside courses that precede it. Plus, hot take, I think Mario Kart 64 is borderline unplayable nowadays, so I want as many of those tracks modernized as possible. We already have a great remade version of Calamari Desert in Tour, so why not give this 64 track the Chaco Mountain treatment and bring it over to the pass as well. Sure, we have plenty of desert courses in Mario Kart 8 already, but the train shenanigans here are more than enough to sell me on this one. I'm ending the Turnip Cup with what is, in my opinion, one of the most egregious omissions from base Mario Kart 8, and the perfect track to end this summary course selection. It's amazing that Koopa Cape isn't in the game yet, and since it fits perfectly with the other courses I've picked, I think this Mario Kart Wii Classic is the perfect bookend to our first new cup of the second wave. I'm pretty confident Koopa Cape will be part of this pass at some point, and I think Wave 2 is a good opportunity for it to make its triumphant return. 
Okay, now it's time to move on to our second cup, the Propeller Mushroom Cup, and four more new courses. If I'm still using the same logic as before, the course that kicks off Propeller Mushroom Cup will need to be a Mario Kart Tour original course with summer theming. So without a doubt, no other track fits the bill better than Los Angeles Laps. I really love how these real world city courses are making their way into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I enjoy the first two a lot. I think they look amazing and I'm sure Los Angeles Laps will be no exception. In my opinion, it's one of the best designed of the new tour tracks, and I see Wave 2 as the perfect opportunity to include this awesome coastal course. Now let me warn you, this cup is where we're going to get a little bit crazy. I'm going to veer off the already made tour remake courses for the first time here, and select a Mario Kart DS course. No summer themed cup pack is going to be complete without a track based on Super Mario Sunshine. And of course, what's more sunshine than Delfino Square itself? This track was already upgraded once, going from DS to Wii, so why couldn't we upgrade again from Wii to Switch? As a Sunshine stan myself, of course I want to see this one added. Any chance I can see the Piantas again on my Nintendo Switch is a chance I'm gonna take. Next I'm choosing a GBA track from Super Circuit. I always love seeing the really retro courses upgraded, and I think that's what we're gonna get here with Sunset Wilds. Yeah, this track has already been remade in Tour, and quite well in my opinion, so it won't be a huge visual upgrade, but still one I think we need to see in 8 Deluxe. This is one of the more memorable GBA tracks due to how the sun sets more and more with every lap. Sunset Wilds is a great looking map on GBA, and visually striking in Tour as well. There's arguably no other track I'd love to see brought to the big screen more than Sunset Wilds. Alright, final lap. For the last track in Propeller Mushroom Cup and Wave 2 in general, I'm gonna go with kind of a wild pick. Instead of a third tour course like we got in the first wave, I want to see something that we didn't get at all in Wave 1, a track from one of my favorites, Mario Kart Double Dash. For this last slot, I was at first going to go with Dino Dino Jungle. It's a track I personally love, it loosely fits with the theme I'm going for, and it's already remade in tour. But then I thought, wait, I don't want to be that boring and pick all tour remakes. While I do think Dino Dino Jungle is coming eventually, the course I really want to see in Wave 2 is Daisy Cruiser. I know we shouldn't read too much into these things, but there was that theory a while back that the cruise liner we see in the background of Coconut Mall in Wave 1 is actually a hint at Daisy Cruiser coming soon. So there might actually be some potential here. But whether that's an intentional hint or not, it doesn't change the fact that I would love to soon be dodging sliding banquet tables sometime in the near future. In my opinion, this is one of the best course concepts in all of Mario Kart, and I'd be thrilled if we get a shiny new Daisy Cruiser just in time for our summer cruise on the waves. Wave 2, to be specific. So, if you liked or disliked my predictions for Mario Kart 8 Wave 2, let me know down in the comment section. If you have different thoughts about courses you think we'll see in the next two cups, feel free to let me know that as well. I hope these predictions kept you entertained as we wait for Wave 2, and here's hoping for an announcement relatively soon. As always, thank you for watching the video. Hit that subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you here next time for more quality Nintendo content.